What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerdcast for the next episode of Alien Isolation where we are going to do our best to not receive any oral loving today. That's, I, I really, I really would prefer to keep foreign objects filled with eggs and ovums and whatever the hell else out of my mouth. There is a question to be concerned about like, is the egg already fertilized or like how does this work? Because essentially they wrap onto your face and then they shove an egg down your throat. And then it bursts out of your chest, but like, do the little face huggers have sex with something first to get like fertilized, or are they just like asexual? These are things that I need to look up in between episodes. Truth. Truth. I need to look that up in between episodes, although, I suppose she must, I think the female, the queen must lay them full, like fully fertilized then. It must be kind of like an insect hive where, ooh, goo, there's a condiment, okay. So I'm a little bit, I almost said a condiment interface, but like, bring forth the mustard! No, the conduit interface. We'll start here. It's amazing that all these electronics are still working in a room full of water. Oh, sorry, you're blinking at me. Should I be doing something right now? I heard a crackling noise. Eh, let's just go for it. Away! Please don't bite my face. I would really- well, you're not gonna bite my face, I guess. You're gonna do something actually way worse. And in fact, that was kind of the design intent when they went through and they designed the alien. That's actually what they were going for. They wanted to draw upon the horror of something like invading you against your will. It's pretty horrifying, the thought of something having sex with my head. Oh, it's totally here. Going dark all comes, Ricardo. This isn't good. This is really, really not good. Of all the things that have ever not been not good, this is the not goodest. Oh shit. Oh, I have done something stupid. I told you we should have just left. Oh man. Oh, this shit is so whack. Game over, man. Game over. What did they? Oh, I don't like this at all. I don't know if it's malfunctioning or if there's actually that many of them. I'm not sure what to think right now. Alternatively, it sounds like it's both on the left and the right side of me, which leads me to believe that there may be a bunch of them here. That's not good. Alright, well let's just hang tight in the cabinet for now. Be part of the alien's cabinet for a little bit. And then once I've actually got like a visual lock on this son bitch, then we'll get going. Is that the queen? Or is that just like a normal xenomorph? It looks a little small to be a queen. I mean, I've got a flamethrower, so at this point, what is my plan? Overload the beta core. The hell does that mean? Oh, I hope that I didn't go the wrong way. Maybe it's up through here. I'm not really even totally sure. Without a motion tracker, oh shit. Get up out of here. Yeah! Set your eggs on fire too. All your children are destroyed. You pop back out of there, I'm gonna get you again. Yeah, you better be legit. Stay up out of the way before something bad happened to you. Alright, so... I don't want to be a negative Nancy here, rather than a positive Patty. 
but I really don't think this is looking too good for us right now. This is looking like a real bad situation, so I'm going to save it real fast. It doesn't say that they're hostile. Get out of here. Get dealt with. All right, so where am I going? Let's figure this out first and for all. Okay, so it looks like there's some kind of ventilation shaft over here on the right that I missed. Let's go for that. We have no choice. I can't keep wasting resources like this. All right, so I guess it's down into the weird little creeper hole. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. This is definitely not the best day of my life. I'm going to get in here for a second. Ew, it looked like there was stuff in here. No, these are my new pants. Now my new pants are all gross and messed up. I mean, they're probably messed up long before this, but what can you do? I feel so much safer when I'm inside like a closet in this game. I don't know what it is, but it's like a big metal hug that just makes me feel better about the entire situation. Because this, this is not okay. This entire situation, totally lame. Shouldn't we be waiting for like Colonial Marines or something to handle this? I mean, judging by like how bad their last game was, I don't, I don't know if I want them to be part of any other game ever, but... I do like the Colonial Marines, and I wish they would get a good episode. Oh, man. Here it comes. This alien. I don't want to say this alien will be the death of me, but seriously, this alien will be the death of IRL me. So it's back in the direction that we need to go right now. I could run it off with some carefully placed flamethrower fire or maybe a Molotov. However, those all seem to be very, very temporary solutions in my experience. I can't press Q to check my inventory right now, so I've basically just got to hang tight and wait until this thing goes away. Try to conserve flamethrower ammunition since my guess is that this is probably the... I don't, I don't know. I don't know if this is the conclusion of the game, but it feels like we're getting close. Like there's going to have to be some major event at some point that really kind of brings this thing full circle. Oh man, I really don't like this. Alright, let's go for it. We don't have a choice. So we need to be down here. I don't know how the facehuggers deal with the fact that you're inside a closet. It looks like they just deactivate and they go away. He was right over there on the right. I don't know if you saw him. But there's definitely a facehugger around. You can set the eggs on fire prematurely if you wanted to kill off the they you want to kill off the facehuggers before they actually hatch. You can do that. I did it in the last room as you saw. If you set the egg on fire, it makes it so that they don't hatch. Oh yeah, here comes our friend. I use the term very very loosely. He seems agitated. He's moving around quite a bit more aggressively than I've ever seen him move before. Then again, we are exterminating the children of the colony with fire. So, parents tend to get a little bit angry when you douse their children in napalm. You know, it is what it is. It's one of those natural laws. Don't put napalm on my child. Just, it seems obvious, but I figure we should probably reiterate and make sure. Oh, shit! Why did... That was weird. Like, what happened? Why did it just randomly rip open the cupboard? I've actually never seen that happen before. They always do the little sniffy minigame first where you gotta do the quick time event. That makes me think that I just shouldn't bother with hiding at all. I should just, like, go for it. Is that the hole that I wanted? Where's the hole that I wanted? Alright, well, let's go in here. I'm just going to ignore it then, I guess. I'm not even going to try and hide. I suppose that I'll just go for... I mean, if he's going to randomly... Let me reload this thing, too, while I'm here. Precautionary measures and all that. So we need to go... What's to the left up here? It looks like a fairly distinctive dead end, but yeah, I figure maybe there's something useful that I can make use of. All right, since he's just going to rip the doors off the things that I'm hiding in, I think I may just go for straight, like, commando mode here. 
just kind of go for it and not gaff, you know what I mean? Alright, so there's more of them hatching. We gotta watch out. Our big problem comes from the fact that it can pop in behind us. Yeah, there it is. Get back up in there. Alright, now we hustle. Now we hustle. Let's go. Set that thing on fire. Oh, the ladder's gone. Ladder's gone. Okay. Did we... Wrong turn. Alright. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, so we've been knocked down, but we're still good. We're still good. It's up and out of our business. I don't know why I'm stuck crawling right now. I don't know. My AI, I'm sorry. My UI was stuck for a second in like the crawly mode. Okay. Let's keep ourselves on track here. Get dealt with. Okay. So now. I in fact desperately need some health. It's back up in the attic. Let's get it back up in there. Activate the beta conduit. Where's the console? Where is the console? It's over there. Okay, I see it. Let's hustle. Okay, everybody. The unfortunate circumstance here is that the game crashed after I did this next objective. So, unfortunately, I've seen all this. So, we're going to be on our way here. And technically, there may be an alien coming for us. Yeah. Unfortunately, the alien gets the free shot because that's fun. I honestly... I was okay until the section crashed on me, and then once it crashed on me, I was just like, nope, can't do it anymore, because I, like, already suffered through the intensity of this part, and so now I'm suffering through the intensity of it again, and my brain just can't handle it. So what we need to do is crawl through this little tunnel right here. We'll go off to the left. I want you to believe me when I say, like, it irritates me so much when things crash, like, halfway through a recording. It really does, like, drive me up the wall, and games nowadays. I don't recall games crashing that much when I was a kid, but nowadays just everything crashes to desktop. Let's go ahead and turn the power reactor back on. I don't think the alien can actually get at us in here, so there's that to look forward to. However, what we need to do so we got 300 fuel left. That's all that we've got. The alien's out here. I don't know if there's more than one right now, and I'm not really sure. I don't know. Oh god, yeah, there's more than one. There's like two of them out there. So that explains why this is actually so hectic. Because there's a bunch of them out here. I guess that confirms the question. Hopefully this one doesn't come back. I'm going to crawl back up in here, and I swear if the game crashes again, I'm going to cry. I will just cry giant man tears because it throws me off. The problem with the crashes is it throws me off my humor because it puts me in a bad mood. And then it's just like one of those things I guess you've got to deal with, but still, I'm not happy about dealing with it. So now I've got to do like some kind of weird clumsy edit, and it's just, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. Okay, so that's all good. Let's overload the beta core. So that's fine. There's still a face hugger in here somewhere too that I didn't deal with the last time we came through. So things to think about there. Couldn't really recommend... Actually, did I kill it already? I can't remember if I killed it already or not. You got a flare. 
I mean, I suppose I do have options, but there's so many aliens in here that, like, I don't want to make the problem worse by putting down a noisemaker and maybe, like, forcing more of them out of the vents than one at a time. So there's all that to be considered as well. I can't decide if I have an opening right now. It's definitely, I mean, there's one by, every single one of the vents is now an instant kill zone. So remember that, so don't walk under any vents if you can help it. And then there's multiples of them at this point, which is just like... I want to know where this face hugger's at. I'm actually more worried about the face hugger than I am the alien. Alright, go for it. So there's that. The game also keeps, like, pinning me in, in crouch mode for some reason in this place. And so I keep getting stuck in crouch mode, which is not good when you're trying to rush through this and make it as fast as you can out the other end. So when we activate that, I've already done this part, when we activate that right there, we've got to run down that hallway and basically just book for it. Like, it's really the only way because the aliens just come out of everywhere. If we overload that, I think we've got to get back to there, and that's a pretty twisty, turny way. I mean, it crashed right when I got into here, so I ran down here, and right when I came out of there, it was like, and it froze, and that was that. I can actually watch through this window right here. There's no reason for me to go out there, but that's there's a vent right there. They're harder to see now that you have like this weird intestinal thing going on. How do they grow that? That's my... They grew that awfully fast. Like, what is the constituent part of all this nasty biological mess that's all over the place? Like, where does it come from? I suppose I have no choice. Let's just do this. And then it's time to go. It's definitely time to go. A capital T for time to leave. Let's get rid of him. We gotta go through here. We gotta kill that, but now we're low on flamethrower fuel, so we're still in a little bit of trouble right now, especially considering we don't know what else is in here. Past this point, no idea what the plan is. I think it's probably just escape, like get the hell out of here, but... These little tunnel areas appear to be a safe zone. I've never seen the aliens come in here. God, it's so noisy. Okay. So out and just to the left all the way down the hall, huh? Go. It's time to get out of here. Yup. Oh my god. And there appears to be like a bolt gun bugged out right there. So yeah, I apologize for my surly demeanor on the half. Like anytime I have to deal with crashes and stuff, I just... It messes up the video footage, it messes up the pacing, and it really just sort of... Ricardo, I can destroy the nest. Ripley, you've put yourself in enough danger today. I can power up all the cores, overload them, and then initiate a reactor purge. It'll destroy everything down there. Look, I'm not trying to persuade you out of this, Ray. I'd just like it if you didn't die. You just don't want to be alone this and by yourself. There are emergency overflow circuits that feed excess power into the local capacitor banks on each tower. If I decouple them and discharge the system, the purge will be external. The nest is right in harm's way. I have no clue what you just said. Just find something to hold on to. So what am I trying to do right now? I also don't know if we're going to be dealing with the alien in this part.
that actually sort of changes the trajectory of the whole thing too if we have to deal with the alien so it's pretty loud in here I think we'll probably be okay from what I understand the noise messes with the alien and so it has trouble if there's a lot of noise so maybe it won't come bother us in here I don't know we'll see I guess if it does come down here that'll be it for us I suppose overload the alpha core no you're really not going to catch me that's the sad part here is that I have more than enough ammo to deal with all of you without really having to care about your safety protocols so I'm sort of adapting the system to my own benefit right now now if we have to deal with the alien in this room it's gonna come down to how many Molotovs can I put upside the stupid things head oh there's one right there I was gonna say there's gotta be one missing right Oh, that didn't work. Okay. New plan. Okay, we'll grab all that. Let's overload the alpha core. So we'll pull down on that. I don't really know how much that's going to help me. The other core that we need... Oh, it was over here. Alright. Let's hope the alien doesn't come to join us. If it does, we are hosed. Well hosed. Do I have to do them one at a time? I guess I have to do them one at a time. Alpha, then beta. I was thinking that I could overload them both and hit the button simultaneously or something. Oh, I don't know how to do this game either. Alright, so that's right there. And then we just gotta highlight the last value over here. There it is. Gotcha. I know how to do that one. That one's not too hard to figure out, but the one with the weird little balance the equation thing, I'm not really sure. Now what? Overload the beta core. Oh, maybe... What? Okay, so I guess maybe we gotta go like the whole way with this thing before it'll allow us to finish this off. Luckily, the Xenomorph doesn't appear to be here, so that's a bonus. That's kind of nice. I don't want to be mean, but I kind of hate it when he's around, so that's fun. Oh, good. We're balancing equations again. So, wait. Do I have to go, like, to 97 over... Oh, it's the two numbers match on both sides. How did I not see that? Oh, my God. I'm an idiot. Sometimes, like, you sit down and you see this kind of stuff and you're just like, wow. In retrospect, I feel really, really stupid now because that was totally simple. I didn't realize there was more numbers at the bottom. I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. That is basically the story of my life, though. And it's sort of weird because, like, I'm really, really good at school-related stuff. Like, I got pretty much straight A's in college and, like... I don't think it's that I'm actually intellectually dumb. I think it's that my observational skills are actually pretty much the worst ever on this side I think it's that I don't adapt to fast-paced situations well so there's one there's two there's three and there's four all right Siegson let's see what you got here let's see what you oh never mind we got one more never mind then this one I don't remember at all okay So move keys when circuit is active. Okay. Oh, shit. I can do this. Okay, so I got that one. I got that one. Like, I get how this works now. It's just like a reactive thing. And I'm just not timing it right. Come on. How come this is not working for me here? Come on. Maybe it's... Oh, God. I reset all of them. Okay. There we go. Like, I get kind of how this works. Oh, you got to go left. So, they were indicating... So, what I was looking at is if you look, there was those three little buttons pointing... Oh, my God. They are everywhere right now. Okay. That's troublesome. Are they coming from both sides right now? 
I need to be aware, or I'm sorry, I need to be sure that they're not going to get me from both sides right now. Okay, so they're not coming from both sides. We're good. If it was from both sides, we'd be hosed. It'd definitely be lowercase t time to leave. And in fact, they're not that difficult to run past. I'm willing to bet something's going to still go wrong, even though this plan seems fairly cogent. So anyways, as I was explaining, on the puzzle right there, that was the one that sort of eluded me earlier. It's got a blank direction, and the blank direction is the one that you're supposed to push, whereas I was seeing it as you could push any of the three that were lit up. And so basically it was just me kind of misinterpreting the notation, I guess. All right, are we out of here? Is that it? Are we, like, done? Oh, no, we got to blow up a central power core, too. All right. Let me reload my shoddy while I'm here because we're about to run out of bolts, and so if they decide to rush us with a few more of these Seeks and Albinos, I think that we're probably going to want to have a few extra goodies on hand, or at least not want to wait for a reload. Is it right there? It is. Okay, so there's a console over there. Let's go handle that. Oh, bolt gun ammo. How did I miss that? Alright, I probably could have done that with pipe bombs, too, had I been smarter about it. Okay, so we'll divide... There we go. And so is this going to kill all of them, or are we, like, good here? Now where am I going? Did it happen, or do I still have to do something here? Anybody? Anybody? Oh, okay, so there's, like, a purge control over here. It was a really, really tiny little notation mark, so... Let's go have a look. It's getting kind of intense in here. It's getting a little intense. I think it's up in that room right there. The door is open. Please no alien. Please no alien. We've got to have like one final showdown or something. Oh, there's a vent. Let's go through that. All right, so we're in. I don't feel I don't feel safe doing this, by the way. I feel like this reactor purge is definitely not going to leave me intact. I feel like I may end up extra crispy. And while I like extra crispy as a modifier added to my food, extra crispy me, I, I would prefer to say I would prefer to stay away from that. That would totally suck. The alien has to come back. There's no way it was that easy. The crash was Seekson's final attempt to stop me from winning. Do it. Initiate purge with up and down. Did I purge it or did I mess up? I guess it goes down. Okay. I'm about to purge the nest. Hang tight. Let's do it, big red button. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. That's problematic. There's still some on the station. I'm, I'm sorry, Ricardo. Just step back to the Marshall Bureau, Rip. Please. He sounded kind of nervous. Sounded kind of nervous there, bud. I don't want to be a dick, but you know. Oh shit, they're all over the place. For Wait, Rip, something weird's happening. You think? I need you to get to medical, now. The reactor purge, it's resetting systems across Sevastopol. Lights, transit, maybe even communications. I think this is our big chance. Just go. No, we might not have much time. I'm heading down to comps. Okay. 
So where does that leave me? Get to engineering transit station. Off we go. Oh, we're going to have to fight them off or something. There's no way this is going to go okay. Engineering transit. Which one's the engineering transit? They all say offline. Systex Spire, Solomon's Habitation Center, SciMed Tower. Is that what I want? Engineering trans. I'm in the engineering transit station. Which one should I take? Go to the Crans. Okay, so never mind. It's down at the bottom. San Cristobal Medical. So I'm guessing SciMed Tower, possibly. And then I'm going to run over here and just kind of get down behind this thing. It's going to be noisy. Are we safe in here for right now? Also, is there a save point? There's no save point. All right. I'm trying to stay frosty right now, but damn, is it hot in here. Okay, I think it should be lining up just about now. Come on. Oh, there's a save point right there. So, I think this might be a good spot to break off the episode. That's another weird thing is when it crashes, I have to relink up with the basically the last save point that I went to. And so I'm not sure how far into our last episode that is. So this one may come out a little bit. This one may come out a little bit short or a little bit long, depending. I feel like we're towards the end of the game. We have to be, right? God. Somebody is a car. Medical. Did you manage to get to comms? I'm here, but I was too late. Apollo's recovered from the reactor purge and locked out external comms again. Damn it. So why'd you send me here? Plan B, Rick. See, before I left, the system showed a ship approaching Sevastopol. I think it's the Inusadora. Marlow managed to send out his auto codes to call it in while comms were temporarily open. I can't get to it. Is it docking? No, but it's in a holding position nearby. Head for the ambulance bay. The shuttles are really short range, but they'll make it. Got it. Okay, and so it looks like we're about to board an ambulance. My name is Splattercat, and this was a really intense episode. I will see you all in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody, and hi-do.